Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. What a beautiful day to be camping. Yes, I'm camping today. So, figured I haven't done a video for you guys for a while. Now, now I'm able to get back out. So, I have... Oh man, I don't know. I just feel great to be back outside again. Just awesome. Beautiful day, beautiful weather. Going to be a cool, crisp night. And I'm going to enjoy the heck out of it. So, as you can see, I got camp all set up. A tent, which is a, uh, a Camp Pal. Yeah, Camp Pal solo tent. I have my North Face Blue Kazoo down sleeping bag. And I have my Gear Doctor's Insulated Sleep Pad. And my trusty Broil 21 saw. So... Let's go finish some camp chores.
<clears throat> Camp chores done. Well, almost. Still have to get supper cooked, but I'm just not feeling supper right about now. So uh, it's gonna wait for me like a half hour ish. So, oh, excuse me. Yeah. So I did manage to uh, get my firewood cut and split. So who needs an axe when you got a big honking knife like that, right? Like, where is it? Where'd I put that? Oh, oh here it is. Yes. Here you my butt. So yeah, who needs a, uh, an axe when you got a big knife like that? Like, really? Wow. <laughs> this, uh was sent to me by a uh, Canadian knife maker. It's a guy out in Quebec, Canada, and me and him talk on a regular basis. So, I mean regular basis is like, if not every day, it's every other day, or whichever, so. But uh, he sent me this, which, wow. <laughs> It's not a cheap knife, I tell you that. It's very, very expensive. Uh, it's the same guy that made this one. <laughs> you all know this one. <laughs> so here, yeah, he, uh, this one here is a custom made one that he made for me. This one here is uh, 5160 spring steel. So, with a 90 degree spine for fire steel use. And I've beat the crap out of this since last year yeah about that i beat the crap out of this here the only thing that's wrong scale chipped a little bit but that's fine no hot spots on it it's actually a little more comfortable so yeah so he, he made this one here he made this one here this was um <clears throat> let me see this here is his was his own personal knife now, it's my personal knife, so that was a very unexpected gift. So, and I thank him. For, I thank him for that. I know he'll be watching. But yeah. So, if anybody's interested in the name of this, it's called the Ram Bowie. The name of the knife is on the back of the sheath. So, I mean, it's right, <laughs> but. Half Rambo, half Bowie. So, I'll have a, uh, a video on this knife and this one. And another knife that I received from the same person as a Christmas gift. This little guy right here. The little Kydex digital camo sheath. That's pretty sweet. I like that little teeny tiny knife. You use it for uh, carving you know carving spoons you know who I mean uh, good for cutting meat very very sharp almost look at it cut myself with it but uh, yeah I'll have uh, I'll have a video on all three of these knives made by the Canadian knife maker um, he does have an Instagram uh, it's, I'll just link it down attempt to link it in in the video description so that way you can go check out his in instagram page he's got all kinds of fun goody stuff uh so i'll link that he does have a youtube channel it's very very small but he does show this knife he shows one of these being made uh and whatnot so but as for right this sec, oh, excuse me again. Whew, I apologize. So for right this second, or for the next few minutes, I'm just gonna sit here. Uh, I'm going to drink a little bit more water. I might throw my jacket back on, I'm not sure. But I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna enjoy the great outdoors. Seems how I'm back. So I'll catch you all in a few minutes.
All right, guys. Nice hot cup of coffee. Sit back and join the great outdoors. If you listen very carefully, total silence. Wow. Besides what wind is blowing, it is super, super quiet. I have kind of a halfway decent view of the lake just off behind the camera probably about a good 300 yards that way <laughs> uh, I can see water uh, on my way in here I did cross over a little creek um, it's a little ATV trail I walked in on and then I walked up into the woods and happened upon this spot so but nonetheless I'm here nice location <laughs> Uh, semi-flat ground anyway. Um, but yeah, but this spot for where my tent is, uh, is sitting, it is fairly level, so I'm in for a good night's sleep tonight. Um, earlier on where you've seen me splitting my wood up and everything, that's where I'm going to have my campfire. Uh, I do have to scout around for probably about, uh, probably about four, four or five rocks. Um, I don't want the wood rolling down off off over the hill, or anything like that. So <clears throat> I'm just gonna get a get a few more rocks and then kind of simmer around that that big one over there. But I do have a tall softwood. There's not really oh, nice little breeze blowing through here. <laughs> but uh, as I'm saying, yeah, I gotta find some more rocks and whatnot. I did manage to see a few, but. Not very many, but uh, no, I'm going to sit back, enjoy my coffee. I think it's well deserved. My hands are a little chilly, so please let me grab a hold of the side of my cup. But uh, yep, so I'll bring you guys back around when it's time to light the fire. Good coffee, really good coffee.
All right, guys, you see I got the fire going. Um, go ahead, you know, stoke it up a little bit. Get it, uh, let it burn down the coal so I can cook the supper. So for supper tonight, I have ground beef and ground pork mixed. And I have a can of chunky chili. So I'm going to cook up my ground beef and ground pork together, I guess. Well, it's all mixed anyway, so I mean, I'll cook cook that up and then I'll open up my can of uh, chunky chili and I'll mix that in with the with the meat and hopefully it turns out pretty good I can't wait because I'm starting to get a little bit hungry and that fire is getting hot Whew. so okay get this uh, get this ripping I'm gonna burn down the coals so we can get cooking
All right, guys, supper is served. Man, doesn't it ever look good? Oh, I've been waiting for this all day. So I figured my frying pan would have been uh, overflowed. But as it turns out, it is not. So that's a bonus for me. But I'm going to dig in. Hmm. I wish you guys could taste this. This is awesome. First time I've had chunky chili out of a can. Like, I haven't had a chili for quite some time, but uh, out of a can, but chunky at that. So, um, the ground beef and pork mix is a little different. It's, uh, I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. It just, I don't really mix ground beef and ground pork together, so, but as it is, here it is, but uh, it is good. Mm. Well, I'm going to dig into this here and stare at that fire and uh, enjoy my supper. Mmm, mm mmm, mmm. -mm. All right, guys. Uh, oh man, that supper was really just oh, it was bang on. The ground beef and pork mix was cooked nicely. Had a little bit of a weird taste, but I think that's just where it uh, it was just the two mixed together. But that uh, chunky chili, oh, that was super tasty, super tasty. So I'm just gonna get start getting ready for uh, for nighttime here. I got my trusty light bulb here, so uh, <laughs> my USB light bulb. So hang that right. Oh, being a pain in my butt right now. I get it on the other side of the hanger, so there we go. That rolled through. Hopefully. Yep, there we go. There we go. Got it through. Anyways, as I was saying, ah, there we go. Uh, supper was really, really good. Um, everything was just exquisite. Almost like I cooked it myself. 
Uh, I know, right? Flyer, very, very funny. Very funny. Um, today I'm just getting ready for nighttime here. Getting my uh, light bulb and everything situated. Whoa! Super bright. There we go. Off. There we go. Turn that off for now. Don't need it on right now, so. But, uh, no. Get everything situated. Get my, my sleeping bag all sorted around. Get our camp all cleaned up. I'm just, uh, th I threw my frying pan in the fire to clean that off. Burn off any food residue. Ugh. Same with the tin can. I threw that in the fire. <clears throat> Burn off any food residue on that. Um, I may have a coffee yet in a little bit. I don't know. Uh, I've, heard, I've had one today. I usually drink about four, five a day, depending on my mood. But I've had, like I say, I've, I've already had one out, out here. Might, oh, excuse me. I might have another one here after a little bit. I don't know. Um, if I do get hungry later on, I do have two packages of oatmeal, or I have uh, a package of a uh, cup of soup. There we go. I'll get it spit out after a while, but, but yeah, so, other than that, everything's, well, I just got to clean up this little area, ready to back in my backpack, I'll stuff it under here, under my little vestibule area, between the tent and the, uh, rain fly, and then that'll be everything squared away for tonight, anyways, then I'll just be able to sit by the fire, and relax, and enjoy, the outdoors again. Oh, I love it out here. I love it. So, yeah. I'm enjoying the heck out of this tonight. Oh, I tell you what. <laughs> so, but yeah. I'm just enjoying. I'm enjoying the silence. Get away from the hustle and bustle of suburban town um minus the wind but see I, I, I have had my my vest on pretty well since late afternoon all evening so far it is not turned on so I will have a review on this vest as well as my jacket I might put I'll have that on in the morning because <laughs> it's gonna be frosty so um and everything so, let me get camp chores. Well, not really camp chores, they're all done. I may have to get a little bit more firewood, I'm not really sure. If I do, it's just off of 50 feet into the woods. Not very far. Old pine tree, cut the limbs off, break them up, throw them on, done. So, <clears throat> uh, as for everything else, it's just basically get everything on this side into the bag. And clean up. Ugh. Getting too old for this. <laughs> all right, guys. I'll bring you back in a little bit when I'm all tidied up and sitting by the fire.
All right. I got everything all cleaned up. Everything's inside my backpack except for my frying pan. Letting that cool down for a little bit while longer. As I had it on the fire, burning any food residue. And, uh, well, yeah, basically burning any food residue off of it. So, but uh, as of right now, I'm a plank in my butt right here. Uh, I'm trying to find a rock to sit on, but I can't find one close enough. So I'm just going to sit on the bare ground. It's not ideal for right now. The ground's a little damp. So I'm going to have to... Oh, excuse me. Oh, excuse me again. So I'm going to have to do, figure something out. Maybe I'll just grab some of my firewood here and I'll sit on that probably. But uh, I'm going to sit here by the fire enjoy that for a little while. It'll be dark here in about another hour maybe half hour 45 minutes Whew. can't float so ah all right i'm gonna sit here and enjoy the campfire smoke in my face and uh enjoy the nightlife and then uh, i'll bring you guys back when it's time to go inside i guess Alright guys, sat by the fire for the longest while, I'm drinking my water, which I have right here in my titanium water bottle, uh, took care of that, I had, no I didn't have a coffee this time, sat back, walked, relaxed by the fire, kind of laid down, looked up at the stars, the sky is just full of them tonight. Nice clear night, nice clear sky, and the beautiful outdoors. I know I've mentioned it before, but I'm happy to be back out. So, uh, I think it's time for me to hit the hay. It's probably coming close to like 10, 10 30-ish at night. So, I'm getting kind of tired, getting kind of sleepy. Been on the go since this morning. Go, 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 go. Get out here. Go, 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 go again. So it's almost go, go gadget, right? So, I mean, but I'm going to sit here for a minute. Get stuff situated for bedtime. Make sure my sleeping bag's all fluffed up and lofted and, and whatnot. So, but as it is, I say it's coming on bedtime. There's a movie on my phone I want to watch. So, uh, yeah. So I say I had a I had an excellent day. I had a fun day. Just fun to be back at as I was saying. So anyways, I'll see you guys in the morning for coffee. Good night guys.
ったな Good morning, everybody. Uh, I woke up late this morning. I gotta get packed up quickly. Um, my ride's gonna be here very, very shortly. I wasn't planning on sleeping this late, but uh, as you know, you're out in the wilderness. The silence and everything is just awesome and uh, and whatnot so um, <laughs> it was just oh man it was just so quiet last night I heard a few geese last night heard a couple owls heard a few geese this morning um, so it is snowing out unfortunately but welcome to Nova Scotia you never know what you're gonna get so, it was originally forecasted to rain sometime today. Uh, I didn't see this coming. <laughs> so, but uh, I am going to get packed up. I don't even have time for coffee. I overslept that much. So, but unfortunately, uh, <laughs> breakfast routine is kind of, well, Shot in the dark this morning, I guess. So, but uh, I'm going to get packed up and I'll bring you guys back and whatnot when everything's all done. guys I uh, you everything packed in the bag it's still snowing I'm snowing harder now so I mean it's I'm getting wet uh, I gotta walk up to the road I got about a half a kilometer hike out so the ride's picking me up very very shortly if not they're already there so hope you guys enjoyed this one I know I did I think I enjoyed it a little bit too much <laughs> over sleeping and everything this morning so Anyways, I'm going to strap on my backpack and get the heck out of here. I'll catch you guys on the next one.